here I am at the intersection of Spadina and Bremner, uh, where I was in a rear-end accident uh, in the summer of 2011. Uh, as you can see here, there's three lanes heading westbound on Bremner. The right lane has a sign saying that you can go through or hang a right. And <coughs> the two left lanes have left turn only signs where one goes to uh, Lakeshore Road East and Queens Key and the other one goes to the Garden West and Lakeshore Road West. Uh, as you can see there's only the three lanes and this is the lane that I was in when I drove through in order to cross Spadina. Here again is the curb lane. This is the lane that I was in when I drove through Spadina and onto Fort York. And as you can see, northbound on Spadina isn't a very popular route during rush hour. Got a Mazda here signaling uh, a right-hand turn, so I guess he wants him to this lane. Curious to see whether he goes straight, straight through or heads north on Spadina. Is turning right as well. Goes another vehicle. Well, that one drove th straight through the intersection. Uh, because that person was following the guidance given by that sign right there, which clearly indicates that it goes straight through and also hangs right for the northbound Spadina. Thus here we are at the intersection, there's the three lanes, and there's the one clear lane, because I guess nobody wants to head northbound on Spadina or go driving straight through. And this is the one that I was in, the only lane that crosses through the intersection. So we're just going to camp out here, I guess, wait for uh, a light change to see how people drive through this intersection. And here we go, lights have changed. People are driving. And it appears as though absolutely everybody's turning left from the middle uh, middle lane and the left lane, as they should, as that is the way that the laws of the road work here. Oh, here's somebody turning right. Shame they're not going straight to illustrate that point. Here's somebody else who's now stopped. This here's the northwest corner of the intersection, uh, precisely where my vehicle was struck by a vehicle in the middle lane going straight through the intersection. On the far side, <coughs> we've got the three lanes of traffic, and keep in mind, the one on our left now is the only one that's allowed to go straight through. There's a, I don't know, it looks like a Oldsmobile, I think, uh, in that lane. We'll see what he does. Yeah, Oldsmobile's decided to go straight through the intersection. Completely legal. And all the other drivers in the middle and left lane are going left, also completely legal. And that's the way this intersection works. So I would love to know how I was found to be 50% out of fault after getting rear-ended by somebody 
he went straight through in a left turn only lane. 